What we would like to achieve at Ferasis is to inspire the future, to shape the future, to reposition globalization. Everyone here wants to come and learn, but also to contribute and jointly achieve a better world. This multi-stakeholder dialogue is important where business, government and civil society can collaborate. On the long term, we would like to achieve a level of engagement where we can move from dialogue to real impact. To say that we at Terrasis can not only generate ideas, but we can realize ideas. My name is Steven Melnick, I'm a founder of happinessamplified.com, which is basically an educational entity that enables leaders to create culture that they are desired to create by incorporating mindfulness into their leadership, into their workforce. And uh, we equip them also with specific counterintuitive tools called amplifiers, which enable them to bridge the gap between where they are and where they want to be. I'm a tenured university professor. I teach in the largest business school in the United States. I have very deep background, corporate background, Wall Street background. And um, when I do my Happiness Amplifies events, Globally, I always merge these backgrounds in education, in uh, mindfulness. Mindfulness basically translates to awareness. Sometimes people do it through just being aware of your breathing or a certain part of your body or a certain external element. And um, that's basically what mindfulness is. It's much simpler than I think majority of people believe it to be. Sometimes individuals kind of blame themselves. Oh, I always think negative. Oh, there's this. It's just reality of our mind. This is how it's designed. It's been there for thousands of years. It's there to protect you. Just being aware of it makes you respond to everything very differently. What are the benefits of mindfulness when it comes to the business? First of all, it facilitates decision making. Okay, because you're much more mindful of the environment, you're much more mindful about your state. It also facilitates creativity because once you step out from your usual thought pattern, okay, and kind of look at it, observe it, you become aware of greater, wider kind of environment, what's going on around you, and you begin to incorporate different elements of it into your decision-making process. Uh, you are much more focused because instead of kind of following your thoughts and you're kind of all over the place and you get frazzled after a while, by becoming aware of your thoughts, you, you choose what thoughts to focus on, what not to focus on. There's customer satisfaction. I mean, imagine somebody's calling for help and there's somebody on the other line from the company's perspective who's being very mindful, who's being very aware. Mindfulness is really uh, a pillar to the next evolution of the workplace. And uh, I'm not sure how many of you follow the latest trends in the corporate environment, but I could tell you there is no bigger, no hotter topic than corporate culture. And organizations go even as far at this point, which is, which is a revolution as far as I'm concerned, they actually fire their best producers if they poison the environment, if they poison the emotional environment of the organizations. So the conversation becomes, how do we create this corporate culture that facilitates the relationship, the understanding, uh, the respect, and this is exactly where mindfulness is. It's not what you do, it's not where you are, but what state of mind you do it with. So at the end of the day, it becomes a continuous awareness and continuous level of happiness, and that's transformational. And if we talk about keeping employees attractive employees and creating bond with employees, I'm not sure there is any, um, any better way, even though the next generation will have perhaps, perhaps an easier time incorporating mindfulness just to let everybody else know it's not late. You could get into mindfulness in any age, at any stage. In fact, people get to it quite often in the later stage of life when they need kind of a bigger picture and bigger purpose.